What is up guys, it's Jack Number here and today we are doing another Minecraft server tutorial. And in this tutorial we are going to be installing a command mod for the Minecraft server. And in this mod, uh, what it adds, it adds like, I don't know, like double the commands that into a vanilla Minecraft server which would usually have. And this mod has four parts to it and um, each part of it is all customizable. Uh, so sorry there hasn't been a video like in two days now is it i don't know but i i've been I haven't been feeling very good and we just haven't had time to record and yeah so if i cough during time this video just please go under that but anyways um go into the um uh links that are in the description the first one will be to the minecraft.net uh, slash download page where you can go ahead and get the minecraft server.jar if you do not have a server and you're just starting it up the second will be to the forum link and then you can get all the mods you want. You will need the core mod, and you can choose any of these four you want. So the next will be to the Minecraft Forge page, and then what, go into the releases, and then grab the main release to it. And then after you've gotten all that, uh, extract and get everything ready. So mine, mine says server jar two. I'll just change that really quick. Okay, because I downloaded a jar multiple times. I don't know why, but I did. And I also have Minecraft Forge. So the first thing you need to do is open up the jar with WinRAR. And we're going to install Minecraft Forge uh, right away. And if my computer wants to wake up, it won't. Okay, I'll just discuss. Like, so where it says the Minecraft server jar. Okay, there it is. It's opened. Um, I'm going to close. Okay, now move that off to the side. Click, keep the metadata inf, and now we're going to install Forge again. And um, I've been trying some new stuff lately. Like, and these are the four different parts. The mod. I've been trying some different things out with server mods and trying to get a good server up. And this works well with the Flans mod, and yeah, I can go through. Okay, there we go. I have like f too many windows open right now. Whoa. Okay. So now we got to install Forge by dragging the uh, the contents of the Forge all the way in to the server that jar, and it's going to let it go. Okay, click OK, and then let it process. Okay, there you go. Both close right there, and you should be good. Now the next step is to oh wait a second. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. Go ahead and run the server out here. And it should take a second. Huh. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for the server out here to go. Okay, there you go. Now, Forge has been successfully installed. Okay, and now we just gotta let it load and generate all the files. Okay, let's let it generating the key pair. Failed to load operators. Okay, that's good. Let's let it prepare the spawn arena and yep. So as so as I uh, as this loads, I'll talk about what this mod does and why I think it should be. Uh, known more because this mod adds so many commands into like a bucket making your vanilla server into a bucket server so you can have like legitly the minecraft server and uh, yeah but I want to do a review of my friend's custom coded server jar where it's kind of a crossbreed but I gotta ask him about that okay there we go it's done I'll, I'll, I'll give you more information later about that sneak peek by the way that was just a sneak peek. Okay, now the mod's full done. Okay, reopen the server.gr with the WinRAR cover. Let's let it load again. Because the computer can't handle the two recordings. That's why I'm going to get a new computer. Hopefully, soon. Uh, come on. Come on. Come there you go. If I wouldn't have forgot this earlier, it would have been a lot easier. So... Now I'm going to go and minimize this folder and go into the figgy folder and open up the core mod. And just let it load. Yep. 
Okay. Now, figure, go ahead and drag all this into the jar. Okay. And there you go. Then, into the mods folder. Go ahead and I'll put figure and put all the mods you want in. Do not put the core mod in there. Okay, there you go. And then now it has been successfully installed, so you can go ahead and run the server and enjoy your figus mods. And these are the uh, some of the best uh, commands there is. So um, in the next part of this installation, not really installation, but the next part of figus, um, there will be a uh, a full review of all the commands and <coughs> everything. So hopefully um, you guys enjoyed and uh, hope hope you guys found this useful. See all these commands, like the delete all the warps, unlock permissions, and permission spawns. Uh, there you go. So go ahead and um, click like on this video for more. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm out. See you guys.